What's up, YouTube? Welcome to the vlog. Sophie, where are we going today, huh? Where are we going? On our way to dog training. Sophie's very exciting. Sophie, you be nice. We're late. And uh, Murphy's Law, when things can't go wrong, they will. Wow. So, go see your friends. Sophie, what are we doing? Where are we going? We're going to see your friends? You want the canes? Yeah. I want the canes too, so. All right guys, just a little bit of a rant. Why do batteries like this exist? I really want you to think about it. This thing is pretty thick. I, you could have fit like AAA or AA in there. Maybe even AA. I mean, it's quite possible, literally. I don't know why we use the circle batteries. One day I'm gonna Google if they're more efficient or not, but I really doubt that they're more efficient than AA or AAA. I never feel like they last as long. Maybe they're low power, but like I'd rather have overkill and have batteries that I always have in stock Nick, at the house. Oh, Nichi! Nitchie's back there, huh? You can't really see him. He's gone, okay, all right. So we're gonna go to CVS, pick up some batteries, and then we gotta clean the house up. The appraisal's happening, like, right away, so very excited for the appraisal. Good thing's coming. Oh yeah, we'll talk more about that. I don't know if I told you guys I sold the house yet. It's gonna be a very interesting vlog, so let's go get some batteries. Can we talk about two things really quick? This Duracell battery, they made it child-proof. They actually made it adult-proof. You literally can't open this thing. I was biting it, I was ripping it. You can't get into this thing without proper scissors. So that's a little bit obnoxious. I get it, they're trying to save kids, but I mean, I wasn't gonna come back home. This thing was like indestructible, man. Indestructible. A little rascal. The second, I bought a battery and an energy drink. Look at this receipt. How crazy is that? You see this thing? I can't even get it all on the shot. I can play jump rope with this thing. Well, <laughs> I'd like to see you try. So, anyways, I gotta get the house ready. We have the appraiser coming in. We did sell the house, so that's what's good. We did sell the house. I'll give you guys a walk through the house after I get it all cleaned up, so let's get to work. Smells like dog. Yes, it does. I have the Febreze fabric spray in there. I think this is working. Still learning how to work this camera. On our way to first watch right now, I'm gonna have my first meal. Um, technically, there are, how many days left? One month, 16 days. So is that 47? I think I have 47 days left in summer shredding, which is okay, that's good, that's plenty of time. I'm gonna have avocado toast. Hopefully, I'm going to get anywhere from seven to 900-ish calories. There's two basted eggs on there. I'll get a little bit of protein. I'll get most of my fats in for the day. And I'll get some carbohydrates. And then I'm gonna have a trifecta meal later, which is right around 400 calories, maybe a little bit more. I do wanna be around 14 to 1500, um, just to get myself back into things. Uh, I had my last cheat meal last night. Didn't get it on camera. Don't wanna think about it. Really didn't hit the spot. I should've got the Nato's pizza, so. It is really sad when you cheat and then you don't, you don't feel satisfied. I think it's because we do it too much. The truth hurts. No, she's, she is telling the truth right now. She is, we cheat way too much. But I, I haven't hit that like final stretch. It's really hard for me to get really focused. I don't want to lean out too fast because I record a lot more towards the end. We got a lot of time. We got plenty of time. Baby, are you going the right way? University Heights is that way. Oh, I thought we were going to Mayfield. Mm -hmm. This is probably cutting it too close, isn't it? Yeah. We have to be there at 2.30? 2.45. Yeah. Oh. You gonna turn around? Yeah. Okay. Well, when you said you didn't want to go to so, University Heights... We're going to check out the new spot tonight. Uh, today, 2.45. What, what sucks is you didn't get to see all the places that we looked at. We looked at million different places. We went to the same place like three or four times, saw three or four different floor plans. The problem right now, at least in Ohio, is there's not enough apartment space. So these spaces are getting rented before they're even tenants are moving out, which really sucks, but it's okay. So we ended up 
Well, I'll just let you see it. We'll leave that surprises later. Yeah. All right, I'll see you guys at first wash in a minute. Look how terrible that parking spot was. All right, guys. So instead of going to first watch, I got those nutrition facts. It was like 42 grams of fat. Fat! Fat! I mean, it is a lot of avocado on that toast. And there's barely any protein. It's like 23 grams. So it's not like I'm never going to have that again. But considering the calories I want to be at and the macros I want to be at, I haven't finalized the macros yet. But, um, you know, it's important that I stay under calories for the day. So Sid and I, we stopped at... What is that place called? Domo? Domo Sushi? In the Van Aken district. I got a California roll and a rainbow roll. Sydney, what did you get? Philly roll? Of course. And in Cali. In Cali. So, um, still pretty healthy, pretty clean meal. So, what'd you get there? What's in that? Just black coffee, iced coffee. Yeah. Look at that. Look at that close up. My face? Exactly. Get out of here! All right. I was class. I was class, baby. Picking up Sophie from, uh, from dog training. She finally passed dog obedience school, so we should be okay to at least move in. And uh, hopefully she won't take anybody's head off the first week. Now she doesn't bark anymore. They said that she only barked at a couple people. They took her to Home Depot. They took her to Lowe's. So she's officially like social friendly. She's she's broken in. She, she's I didn't know you were allowed to people. bring her in Lowe's. I yeah, didn't know they I, were dog friendly. I didn't know either. All right, so I'll see you guys when we get home. All right, guys, we're gonna record a quick little video of the last walk through the house before it is completely empty. Here we go. <laughs> for all of the memories. In that next room. Just kidding. We don't want to see that. Sophie, it's the last recording of the backyard. The last supper. It's funny because you're Jewish. I don't know if you believe in the last supper. All right, guys, so there you have it. Last walk through the house um, while it's still furnished. Obviously, we'll do one more walk through once it's all finished and everything, but it's really exciting. It's like bittersweet because this was my first house and I was really excited to move in and I built it, you know, from the ground up. So there's a little bit of sentimentalness to this whole area. I grew up in South Euclid. I love South Euclid. My mother still lives in South Euclid. I actually grew up on the other side of the college, Notre Dame College. That's across. Um, or at the end of the street rather so we did a lot of improvements you know over the years I, I didn't originally have the patio and I didn't originally have the hot tub so this is it's a bittersweet moment Sydney's like watching me in the background you probably can't see her she's Let's see if I can get her in there she's just staring at me so anyways um yeah a little bit of a bittersweet moment you know this is where I got Sophie she was just a little baby little baby she just graduated her dog school. Do you have the certificate? Can you get it? So this is Sophie's official certificate. So she graduated. Summa cum laude, top of her class. They said she was the best dog. The best dog she's ever had, ever. 
Um, so that was really nice. I, I didn't expect anything less of her, really. She has that whole Olympus mindset. Highly recommend. Um, highly recommend. Sit means sit. This is not a paid sponsorship or anything, but they did an amazing job. You saw results immediately after the first training. They taught her a little bit each time. They gave us a little bit of homework to give her. It's an all day training session. You drop her off once a week for five weeks, or at least that's the package we selected. They're with her the entire day. You pick her up at four o'clock and they give you very specific things to do in increments. You know, they don't give it to her all at once. That would be a lot for her to learn. And over time, it was just kind of unbelievable to see uh, how, how well she, she progressed and her personality didn't change at all. Our biggest worry was, is she gonna be the same dog? They used a stimulation collar. I tested it on myself, on all the settings that I used on her, and it's more so to just grab attention. You know, it's not like she would cry when you'd stim her, but uh, it, would, it would just nudge her. She'd look at you, and then she'd come over to you, and she'd look, and she'd be wagging her tail, and she was all excited. So, for those of you that have thought, oh, I really wanna train my dog, but I don't want them to have a shock collar, I think there's a pretty big difference between, you know, a shock collar that doesn't have multiple settings, and multiple simulations and a simulation collar. That's what I want to say. I'm not trying to justify it. I'm saying that I ordered a shock collar from Amazon. I did it to myself and it it was crazy and I would not use it on my dog. Zap. The simulation collar on the other hand, it, it was much more gradual. It seemed more like like an attention grabber. Get your toy. Uh, with that being said, you know, back to the house. A uh, little bit of a bittersweet moment. I'm nervous. I'm excited. You guys saw the apartment. It is sick. It is sweet. We are in the penthouse at Van Aken. Um, I'm very excited about that. It's like a community. That's the best way to describe it. It's like uh, just a, a big group of, uh, of people that, you know, they sit together, they eat together. It's very center focused. So when you walk out of the apartment, there's this area where everybody can bring all sorts of food, picnics, um, the local restaurants that are there, the indoor marketplace that's there, and they can eat. And it seems like everybody just vibing, having a good time. Um, just a lot of happy people. So I'm really excited to move into the community there. It is a big, big move. I know I'm gonna be spending some money on some furniture, which is okay. Um, Nick's coming with us. My roommate, you guys probably remember him if you've been following me the whole time from the early days. He was coming to the gym with me. Now he just welds and he works all the time. I know I've been talking a lot, but there's a lot going on. I'm very excited and I'm in the middle of summer shredding. I'm doing okay on calories. I think I have 500 or 600 left right now. I'm trying to keep the calories between uh, 14 and 1600, somewhere in that range. I gotta see how fast I'm gonna lose fat and I have to make sure that I'm gonna get down to where I need to be. So if I have to get into a bigger deficit, I'm gonna do that. If I'm doing okay, I'm gonna increase the calories and slow it down a little bit. I don't wanna come into flat but I do wanna be shredded like I've never been before. So I've, I've noticed that if I try and do too quick, like a rush, like three weeks or four weeks, that's way too quick. Now keep in mind, I weigh at most right around 160. Right now I'm already around 150. So I know that my competition weight, the leanest that I need to be is like 145. So I only have five pounds of fat I need to lose right now, unless I lost muscle, which I doubt. So. Going to the gym every day with Angel is really helping. It's accelerating things, keeping my steps above 10,000. Little compound things that you could do every single day to just make sure that you stay on track. Drink a lot of water, count your steps, and cryotherapy. A lot of exciting things coming to fruition. Thanks for watching.